Midway through my college career, a fellow student and acquaintance asked me out. I turned him down, fairly normal enough behavior for a college-aged girl. Fast forward a few weeks later, things were anything but normal at this point, and I had begun to think of him as more of a stalker than as an acquaintance. One night, I was in my bed sleeping. I had fallen asleep late studying, and I woke up in the middle of the night and went to get a glass of water by my bed, um, which was ground level, and suddenly realized with a jolt of fear that he was staring straight into my eyes. And everything I did after that point was complete gut instinctive reaction. I have no idea, he was a huge man, how I managed to get him out the door, um, somehow followed me and pushed him out, uh, closed the door, locked it, and then I stood there on the other side of the door, totally in shock. He was in my bedroom, in my bedroom floor, in the dark. I had no idea how to process that or, or what to do next. The reality is that I was lucky. A full one in five US women experienced sexual assault during their college career. Look around you, we're about 1,000 people here at this beautiful event in Doha, and if we were starting TED College today, half of us are women, that would mean 100 of us abused by the time we graduated. This is abhorrent and unacceptable. I envision a world where all women can expect to graduate college without experiencing rape, attempted rape, battery, sexual violence of any form. But to reach this world, we have to work together. And a team sharing this vision, a filmmaker, an educator, a designer, and myself, a programmer, started a campaign called Circle of Six. And what we do is we request students take a pledge. I won't let violence happen in my circle with six of their trusted friends and then follow through with that pledge. And to help these students make the pledge and keep the pledge um, and to spread the campaign, we've created an application in support of the campaign. Let me give you a quick demo. Once you've chosen your supportive circle, they're alerted um, that they've been added to your circle. And at two taps, imagine you're a woman and you've gotten separated from your friends late at night. And two taps, you can send an SMS to your circle, come and get me with a map showing your precise location. Or imagine you're cornered at a party and just need an excuse to get away. You can request your circle to call and pretend you need an interruption. Every woman in the crowd has experienced this. <laughs> Absolutely. We also have a button to just start an open dialogue about healthy relationships. Is this normal? Um, to start the conversation about sexual violence and be open. Finally, in critical situations, in one tap you can reach national hotlines in the US or a custom hotline of your choice, for example, campus police. There we go. So the app is deceptively simple, and of course, this isn't the end-all be-all solution to a very, very complex problem. But in talking to hundreds of women, and going back to my story that night, um, I remember Googling while my hands were shaking for some sort of hotline to call to talk about this experience. And the hotline that I ended up calling was a, much to everyone's confusion, suicide prevention hotline, which was not any help at all. Um, so I could definitely have used a supportive circle to reach out to and the right number to call one tap away. And so many other, the 10 million college-age women could today as well. And thankfully, the campaign is off to a great start. 
We've had 20,000 downloads since our launch just a few weeks ago. Students are clearly ready to change this horrifying statistic. And I invite everyone in the audience to join them and form a bigger circle in their support. If we all pledge, I won't let violence happen in my circle and follow through with that pledge, we can change the statistic. Thank you very much.